So this is happening at Bloom where you're planted. When you can't get your rabbits to breed in the south, you give them more light, a longer day. So this is Madeline. She's getting a longer day. <laughs> First and most importantly, they need more daylight. The, the days are short, so they need more light. So this is actually a sunlight, a reptile sunlight, I believe. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm so glad my wild one was into reptiles at one time. So we have some leftover stuff like that. And this is from brooding our chickens, the lamp. So I put that on. I put that sun lamp on uh, as soon at about five, six o'clock, as soon as the sun started going down, and I kept it on there until about nine, nine thirty at night, and went and got it. So increasing the daylight hours, that's the first and most important thing. So I'm glad I could do that. Needed a long extension cord. I'm glad I already had what I needed. But all right, and then make them raspberry tea. I know. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. You can also give them um, blackberry leaves and raspberry leaves. This is the tea that I use. Got it brewing on. And then leafy greens out of the garden. And black oil sunflower seeds. I've also got some pumpkin seeds mixed in there, which is fine. Up their nutrients. And then apple cider vinegar, organic with the mother in it. So this is a good brand to use. And I use one tablespoon per gallon of raspberry tea. And I just um, mix it up together. Oh, and then switch up their cages. Put the buck in the doe's cage and the doe in the buck's cage. Get them close to each other at least. Switch it, switch it all around. Get those scents mixed up. You ready, Nugget? Let's do this. There is one other problem. Your doe or your buck could just be too lazy and fat, especially if, you're, if they're sitting in cages all the time. Um, I don't really think that's the problem with my does because um, they're not in cages. They're, they rotate out of these exercise pins and my bucks also. If you do think that is a problem, then you reduce their food by a little bit each day until they're down, you know, basically put them on a diet gradually and then get them more exercise and then keep trying to breed. But I don't think that's the problem here. I think it's just because it's the beginning of winter and their instinct tells them don't breed in the beginning of winter. There won't be food for me and my babies. Now you might have seen that breeding and think, oh, it worked. Good for her. Good for him. <laughs> but you really need to see the butt grunt and fall off to know it was a successful breeding. So that is what I'm watching for. And, um, that's what I'm hoping to get. So the other thing I forgot to mention, that would be funny if I edited, I'm trying to keep an eye on, talk to you and keep an eye on the rabbits. That'd be funny if I edited this and I saw, oh yeah, there, it worked. I didn't even see. I am staying here as I told you because I, this is a Nugget's first experience mating. I don't want him to have a bad experience. I don't want the doe to turn on him. Madeline is being pretty good, although she's running away. She's not turning and growling and, you know, being aggressive. She's not mounting him, so that's a good sign. Um, but I'm not going to leave him alone. I'll stay out here, watch for a few minutes, drink my coffee, and then if we're not successful, put them back in their cages, keep up the treatment uh, for fertility, and try again tomorrow. So this is part of raising rabbits in the south. Sitting, watching your rabbits, drinking your coffee, and rooting for the buck to get his game on and score. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we have a victory. I didn't get it on tape, 
maybe it'll happen again for you guys. I'll watch closely so you can really see what that looks like. Yay, Nugget! You teeny thing! Woohoo! Meanwhile, Buddy is still trying to talk Adeline out of the corner. Come on, buddy, you can do it. We're rooting for ya. Nugget over here, he's, yeah, he's already won the morning. There we go, folks. That is a successful rabbit breeding. Yay! That is wonderful. Um, I will mark my calendar 27 days from now, put in the nest box, and I'll have, she will have her babies anywhere from uh, 28 days to 30 days. If, if you wait, if it's 32 days, then um, she, yeah, she's not pregnant. She's not gonna have babies, but we know it was successful. So I'm so excited about that. I'm glad you guys got to see that. So now I will put them back in their cages, or I'll put one of them back, I'll separate them, and bring them out later on in the afternoon for another mating, because the, as I told you in the previous video, when um, the act of mating makes her eggs come down. So if you mate in the morning, and then come back and mate in, um, late afternoon or evening, then you have a chance of having a much bigger litter. So this is exciting. She'll be, of course, a first time mom. I hope that I can get Adeline or Mystic to get with the program because they are not first time moms. And sometimes a first time mom doesn't know what to do with her babies and you need to foster them to a more experienced mother. So hopefully one of those two I can get to breed in the next few days. Woohoo! Victory! And there's the happy couple. They're getting along so well. I might just leave them together a little bit longer. Yay! Good day at Bloom Warrior Planet. Thank mm -hmm. you.